Hey, hey, everyone. Welcome to another QTP tutorial brought to you by QTPTutorial.net. We are continuing on our VB script series where I am teaching you the fundamentals to becoming an amazing automation engineer. Before we get into the next section of VB script, I want to take a moment and congratulate you guys on making it this far in VB script. You guys have taken a humongous step in deciding to take the fundamentals course and learning exactly what QTP is about. And I promise you that you guys will have a serious competitive advantage when you go out into the world and whether you're trying to improve your skills, trying to improve your position in your company, or just trying to get a new job as an automation engineer, you guys will be the top 10, 15% for sure. And it's very good that you guys are doing that. And for those of you guys that are kind of getting a bit discouraged, I want to let you know that don't get discouraged. This all may seem a little bit burdensome, a little bit tough, but it is worth it in the end. All the advantages that you guys will gain will far outweigh the time that you spend learning this material. Whether it takes you, you know, two, three, four years to master this material, it will guarantee you job security for such a long time. And I'm going to be honest here, guys. We talk a lot about theory. We do a lot of coding. But there are very few people that tell you what's going on in the world, that teach you real life examples. And I want to be sure that I'm teaching you guys this as we're going through our tutorials. And the real life truth is that record and playback is dying. It is a dying art form and there are very few companies left that are using it. I have been to some of these companies that are trying to use record and playback for their automation and their automation is a mess. First of all, it's extremely hard to fix. It's extremely hard to maintain. And because of those problems, nobody wants to do it. And so what happens is they get stuck in a cycle of manual testing and developing. And the cycle never allows them to improve because they can't get their automation on par to make it good enough to keep up with their development and manual testing. And the reason why they can't get it on par is because they need to develop an automation framework. That's just what most professionals have realized. That's pretty much what everybody knows. Everybody who knows automation, they know that you need a framework for automation to work. That's just plain and simple. And if you cannot create an automation framework, then you cannot keep up with the IT industry that exists today. And I'm not going to lie, guys. The IT industry is very fast moving. Technology keeps accelerating at an exponential rate. Everything just keeps advancing so fast. There is so much to keep up with. And on the one hand, it makes it a bit tough because you can never kind of relax and just strive through life. But at the same time, it's very exciting because you're always learning. You're always finding new things. You're always enjoying new activities, new languages, new technologies. So much to enjoy to keep your life interesting. That's why I find the automation engineering career one of the most exciting. Because as you think you're becoming an expert, a new technology comes out that brings you back down to the earth and tells you, hey, now you got to learn me because I'm the new best thing in town. And so that's how the real world is, guys. And record and playback is dying and you need to be learning towards an automation framework. And that's what our ultimate goal is here. We will teach you the automation framework. We will teach you it many times and we will make you guys phenomenal experts. But you cannot do the automation framework if you don't learn VB script. It will be impossible. You can 
grab the code and try to apply it at your job. But whenever something goes wrong, which I promise you, 100% something will go wrong. You will not be able to fix it. You will not be able to debug it. And if you're at a company like mine, you will be kicked out pretty fast because you can't keep up. Because in IT, the turnover rates are very high. Why? Because there are many average individuals who can be replaced with other average individuals. But there are very few highly talented individuals who jump into a position and they stay there because they're at the top of their game, they know what they're doing, and they're keeping up. And so anyways, that's our ultimate goal here, guys. With this VB script, some of you guys may be thinking, why the heck do I need it? Well, you need it in order to keep up with the IT industry. If you want to be at the top of the game, if you want to make the best salaries, have the best jobs, have the best opportunities, if you want to be automation leads, if you want to be team leads, you need to know VBScript. And to be honest, guys, VBScript is such a simple language. It is a piece of cake compared to other stuff that other people are learning. So if you find it a little bit hard, even if you find it extremely hard, just concentrate, take your time, work at it, watch these videos over and over, ask questions, use Google, go to forums, and once you guys figure it out, because everybody can figure it out. I've not met anyone who can't work hard enough to not figure it out. But once you do figure it out, you guys are set. Like I keep saying, you'll be at the top 15% of the automation industry. And you guys will walk from job to job, picking things up, picking your salary, picking your benefits, doing whatever you want. And along with the learning of the VB script, you guys will get to a mastery of automation framework to a point where you may take my framework and you may even improve it. Because yes, my framework is not a constant thing. It's always improving. And for those individuals that are thinking that they're just going to learn this framework and then they'll be set, I got news for you. You will not be because you will have to keep expanding the framework, you will have to keep improving it, and you will have to keep maintaining it. And you can't do any of that if you don't know what I'm teaching right now. So anyways, I wanted to congratulate everybody for taking the time to start learning the fundamentals, start learning VB script, because it is a gigantic first step to becoming phenomenal automation engineers. And once you guys learn this, you will be so far up the ladder for QTP that the rest of the stuff will be basic. It will just be putting all your knowledge together, putting it in some tool, and then making it run. That is not a big deal at all, guys. Don't worry. The big deal is what you guys are learning now. So if you find it tough, it's good because everything after this will be pretty simple and easy to walk through. So sorry about the spiel, guys. No, I'm not sorry. I just love to discuss real world scenarios, real things that are going on because I don't think it's covered enough. I think there's a ton of theory, a ton of other things going on that don't show you what's going on in the real world. And I want to be honest. I'm going to be truthful. And I want you guys to know everything that's going on. I don't want to hide anything. And so if some of you are discouraged, like I said, don't be. Just keep at it. And for those of you that are here working hard, learning this, don't worry. You have time. The IT industry may be moving fast, but if you get to the top of the ladder, you'll be caught up and ahead of it. So I wanted to say good job to all you guys and let's get into the next topic, which is extremely important. We're going to be discussing variables, arrays, constants, and dictionaries. And I actually switched it up a bit. I was going to discuss conditional logic, but I thought it did not make sense to discuss conditional logic before I cover all of this with you guys. And then I threw in an extra topic in there that I wanted to discuss. So sorry for switching it up, but I think it will logically make more sense. And I hope as you guys are learning it, you will agree.